Welcome to Global Feed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. In the world of modern fighter jets, two philosophies clash, the American F-35 Lightning II and the Swedish Saab Gripen. The F-35 is a technological powerhouse, stealthy, sensor-laden and designed to dominate the world's most contested airspace. It's the choice of superpowers, built for global reach and overwhelming force. In contrast, the Gripen is a lightweight multi-role fighter focused on efficiency, reliability, and flexibility. It's not as stealthy as the F-35, but it's affordable, easy to maintain, and designed for nations that value operational readiness. Countries like Sweden, the Czech Republic, and Brazil have chosen the Gripen for its pragmatic approach. The F-35 is a sledgehammer, expensive, complex, and built to break through the toughest defenses. The Gripen is a scalpel, precise, efficient, and able to operate with minimal support. These jets represent a fork in military aviation, one prioritizes technological supremacy, the other, sustainable defense. The F-35 project's power, the Gripen ensures survival. Sweden's strategic reality demanded a jet that could be defended and maintained by its own people, even under threat. The debate isn't about which is better, it's about which tool fits the job. The F-35 is for those who can afford perfection. The Gripen is for those who need resilience. Understanding these differences is key to understanding the future of air combat. Sometimes the right answer isn't the most advanced, it's the most adaptable. The Gripen's greatest strength is its ability to operate away from major air bases. Designed for Sweden's Cold War strategy, it can launch from short, damaged runways, even highways. This dispersal makes it a moving target, nearly impossible to ground with a single strike. Gripen squadrons can vanish into the countryside, launching sorties from hidden road strips. The F-35, by contrast, relies on specialized infrastructure and can't match this agility. Gripen's rapid turnaround is legendary, a small team can refuel and rearm it in 10 minutes, even conscripts with basic training can keep it flying. This means a smaller fleet can generate more sorties, keeping pressure on the enemy. The F-35's maintenance is slow and complex, requiring climate-controlled hangars and expert technicians. In a real war, the ability to get jets back in the air quickly can matter more than raw technology. The Gripen sacrifices some performance for practicality, and that can be the difference between fighting and being grounded. The Gripen's rugged design is no accident. It's built for rough landings and short runways. Its canards boost lift, letting it operate from strips as short as 800 meters. Maintenance is streamlined, easy access panels, line replaceable parts, and a field swappable engine. It even has its own power unit so it doesn't need external support to start up. A minimal crew, sometimes just one supervisor and five conscripts, can keep it mission ready. Tools are standard, not specialized, and can fit in a single truck. Unlike the F-35's complex, cloud-based logistics, the Gripen's diagnostics are local and resilient to cyber threats. In a world where networks can be hacked or go down, the Gripen's simplicity is a strategic asset. Cost is where the F-35 and Gripen truly diverge. The F-35 is the world's most expensive weapons program with a price tag and upkeep that strain even wealthy nations. Each F-35 costs around $80 million and flying it racks up about $35,000 per hour. The Gripen at $65 million per jet and as little as $4,000 per flight hour is a bargain. This means more flying, more training, and a larger, more active fleet for the same budget. The F-35's maintenance requires a vast, specialized ecosystem and highly trained personnel. The Gripen is designed for field maintenance by conscripts, using off-the-shelf parts and a small crew. This slashes long-term costs and logistical headaches. Training is also simpler. The Gripen's intuitive interface gets pilots combat ready faster. F-35 pilots face a steep learning curve and expensive simulator hours. Gripen pilots spend more time in the cockpit, building real-world skills and confidence. For many nations, the Gripen's affordability and ease of use make it the only realistic choice. It's the difference between owning a supercar and a sports car you can actually drive every day. The Gripen's strengths aren't just theoretical, they're proven in real conflicts. Ukraine's air force, under constant attack, relies on dispersal and rapid turnarounds, exactly what the Gripen was built for. The F-35, tied to vulnerable airfields, would struggle in such a scenario. Finland, facing a powerful neighbor, debated the Gripen's merits for its ability to survive and fight from hidden road bases. In Libya, Swedish Gripen's achieved some of the highest sortie rates of the campaign, 
despite a tiny logistical footprint. The lesson, a small efficient force can punch above its weight if it's easy to deploy and sustain. In the Indo-Pacific, where distance and vulnerability are challenges, a jet like the Gripen could enable a more resilient defense. Relying solely on complex fighters at a few big bases makes forces predictable targets. Dispersed, adaptable jets like the Gripen can keep an enemy guessing. For many nations, survivability and flexibility matter more than raw power. The Gripen's philosophy is a blueprint for modern air defense. The F-35 is unmatched at breaking through the world's toughest air defenses. Its stealth and sensors are designed for high-tech, day-one warfare against peer adversaries. But this focus creates a blind spot. The F-35 isn't built for wars of attrition or constant base attacks. Its logistics network is a single point of failure, vulnerable to cyber attacks or disruption. The Gripen, with its decentralized analog approach, keeps flying even when networks go down. Complexity is the F-35 strength and its Achilles heel. The Gripen assumes chaos-broken bases, lost comms, and the need to keep fighting no matter what. It's designed to survive and adapt when the perfect plan falls apart. For many, the goal isn't to win with perfection, it's to avoid losing when things get messy. The Gripen's true advantage isn't in its speed or stealth, but in its philosophy. It's a jet that can be rearmed by a conscript, flown often, and maintained on a country road. Its low cost and high availability let pilots master their craft and keep fighting under pressure. The F-35 is vital for superpowers, but its complexity and cost put it out of reach for most. The grip improves that resilience, flexibility, and simplicity can be more decisive than raw technology. It's a fighter for survival, not just power projection. In real wars, the side that endures often wins. The Gripen's readiness to fight another day is its greatest strength. 